fellow anglers, my name's Edwin Evers, Nitro Pro Team member and Bassmaster Elite Series Tournament Angler. I'd like to introduce to you one of the newest Nitro Z Series performance bass boats, the Nitro Z20. Nitro engineers and the Nitro Pro Team anglers collaborated to make the Z20 a formidable tournament machine. Nitro has listened to the customer for over 20 years to improve their boats each and every year. So let's start out by taking the Z20 on the water and showing you the great characteristics of the speed maneuverability. Then we're gonna take it into the dock and I'm gonna show you the interior, bow to stern, all the great details. I just got in this boat for the very first time, the new Nitro Z20, and let me tell you, it's an exhilarating ride. I'm amazed at the speed, the handling, how tight it turns. It's just an incredible ride. I couldn't be any happier. And these Nitro boats, buddy, they've been on a tear. Just here recently, I was the first two-time Elite Series winner in the history of Bassmaster. And not only that, at Bass Fest, the event I won, we had three other Nitro owners in the top four, five in the top 20. So these things are guaranteed to be catching you some fish. And look at this front deck. What else could you ask for? You've got room for days up here. You, your fishing partner, maybe you and your kids, you got plenty of room up here on this deck. The all-new 2016 Nitro Z20 is a pure fishing machine ready to take the tournament world by storm. In size and horsepower capacity, it's the successor to the popular Z8, but that's where the similarity ends. In collaboration with Nitro's team of tournament-leading pro anglers, the engineers re-examined every detail, no matter how small, and the results are very impressive. The new NVT hull is a truly revolutionary design that utilizes a series of parabolic curves instead of traditional strikes. NVT stands for Nitro Vortex Technology. The result is a hull with exceptional top end speed and lift, plus improved mid-range acceleration, all while maintaining superior control and handling. The organic shape of the NVT hull also enhances consistency in the manufacturing process and provides an exceptional strength to weight ratio in the finished product. And combined with Nitro's proven rapid planing system, the NVT hull gives you an amazing hole shot with a smoother, drier ride than ever. The Z20 can be powered by up to 250 horses, so you can really put the hammer down and get to your fishing hole fast. When fully powered, the Z20 gives you more time on the water and more time means more fish. And Nitro's anti-backwash transom keeps the Z20 from taking on water when you power down. So let's head to the dock. I'm gonna go through all the details bow to stern of this great new Nitro Z20. The new Nitro Z20 comes standard with a Minn Kota 24 volt, 70 pound thrust trolling motor, or you can get an optional motor guide 36 volt like what I use. I've got room for a 12 inch graph permanently mounted right there in the bow. How handy is that? Also, I love the recessed bow lights. No longer do I have a bow light that I have to stick in, get out of the rod locker, fumble around in the dark, turn them on at the flip of a switch. For easy access right here, I've got an illuminated bow panel control center. I've got my lights, bilge pump, my recirculating fan through my compartments, and then my tilt and trim. I can hit them easily with my toe or my hands. Then I've got the lowered gunnels. That makes it a lot better for getting up high, pitching underneath targets, just to have those lower gunnels and higher platform. You gotta love this 38 square foot of deck space. You know, as a pro bass fisherman, you never know when you might need to move back in the boat or front in the boat to get a better angle on a cast. Maybe around a dock, around a stump, around a tree. You've got plenty of space up here to move around, make those casts, land a fish. You also gotta love the anti-fatigue padding up here under the carpet. It's just gonna be added cushion for your back, your knees when you're out there fishing 12, 14, 16 hour days. And then we've got port and starboard rod straps right here. Keep all my rods secure, and anytime I'm in rough water or crossing boat wakes, I got them all right here, easy within reach, really secure at those port and starboard rod straps. With 38 square foot of deck space, you can only imagine how much storage is gonna be underneath that, and it's a bunch of it. Right here on the port side, it's got an awesome stainless steel latch, really secure. I've got room in here for 10 rods that all have their individual places, holds them really secure, holds the end, the tip, 
you're never going to have a rod get tangled when you're making those rough runs across the water. Really important for me to be able to grab a rod out and not be tangled. Then beneath those 10 rods, I've got room for even more laying down in the floor of that rod box. This thing's completely dry. It's done by these really deep channels that go around there that get the water away from it. It's got a really good lift assist right there to hold that box open. And it's also lit, so in low light conditions, nighttime fishing, you can see down into that rod box. Also, you're going to notice it's got a piano hinge. The entire length of that lid. Really, really important to keep it secure, to keep it rigid. This is the port side, starboard side, the exact same box, lots of room without the rod organizer. And I love the oversized center compartment. This is where we make it all happen. Look how much tackle I can get in this one center box. It's got the ventilation fan that circulates throughout these front three boxes, and I can fit all kinds of 3,700 boxes on the sides, back here in the back, and still have plenty of room for rain suits, life jackets, anything I want to keep up towards the bow. You're going to notice it's got the deep channels to keep that water out of there, keep it all dry, the double lift assist arms. Anytime that's open, that thing's lit up right there in the middle. Got all my storage at, at fingers tips right here really quick. Tie that next lure on to catch that biggin'. One of the most important things in any bass boat is your ice chest, and the Nitro Z20 has got one of the best ice chests in the industry. Look how big this thing is. I can fit a whole case of water, a couple bags of ice, and it's insulated so well all the way around. Keeps my stuff really cold all day long. Then you gotta love this, a snap out sandwich tray. Keeps your sandwich, your granola bars up out of the ice, keep them dry, keep them from being soggy after an all day out there fishing. And then right here, how thoughtful is this? Just a trash can. We know nobody wants to litter in the lake. Put your old plastics, your bottles, put them right here in this trash can. You can empty it real easily when you go to gas your boat up at the gas station. A lot of thought went into this area in this ice chest and uh, it's just not gonna disappoint you. You can also see right here that you've got plier holders, tool holders on both sides, port and starboard, you got a drink holder. Things that are really important that you need to have at, at a moment's notice are right here handy for you to grab to get that hook out of a fish's mouth. I really like the layout of the custom Z20 console right here. I can see all my gauges around the wheel. I've got room for an in-dash 12 inch graph right here. Something that's always gonna be there. You don't have to worry about taking it on and off. Don't have to worry about somebody stealing it when you flush mount one right there in that console. I've got the illuminated control panel right here. It's got all my pumps, bilge pumps, fans, lights, all right here, easy to reach. I've got hydraulic tilt steering, something that's really, really handy when you wanna change positions. And it's also got an optional cell phone holder right down here that will keep that cell phone out of the sun, but somewhere that it's out and I can still hear it. When you sit down behind the console of the new Nitro Z20, you're going to be amazed at these NASCAR inspired seats. They've just got a ton of cushion, a ton of support. They kind of wrap around you. The driver's seat's adjustable front and back, can adjust to any height person to be able to drive here behind the console. The passenger seat's optional to be able to move it back and forth. And it also has an optional third seat to go right here in the middle. Then when you turn to the back, you're going to notice this huge aft deck, co-angler base to put a, another seat right there. You've got storage for your net. How handy is that? You can keep your net right here out of the way, yet handy to get to to land that big fish. An integrated ruler right here. To be able to measure those fish, goes right here between your live wells. How handy is that? No more with it bouncing around the bottom of the boat. It's always going to be right there, right where you need it. Then you get to the live wells. Two 19 gallon live wheels. We have the best in the industry. These things are insulated. They have a pump out system. They have recirculating pumps. They have roto molded corners. That's really important so you don't have really tight corners for those fish to get stuck into. These things keep your fish alive. The best in the industry, bar none. When you get to the back deck of the new Nitro Z20, you're gonna notice still a bunch more storage. That's kind of the theme of this whole boat. You open this compartment right here, I've got all kinds of room for 3,700 style boxes. I like to keep a lot of my plastics back here, you know, heavier items I try to keep towards the back of my boat. A great feature of a Nitro boat is these aft storage compartments lift out. It gives me access points to the live wheel pumps, to the batteries, to any of those things that you might have back there in the transom. Just another way to get into your boat. All those things come in handy when you need to do something down in your boat. This thing slides right back in, real simple. Again, it's got the stainless steel latches. Everything's gonna be dry, everything's lockable. 
You can never have enough storage, and the Z20 is gonna deliver that. You get over here to the port side, I've got more storage. Life jacket, sweatshirts, more tackle boxes. And again, this one lifts out, but what you're gonna find different underneath the port storage is I've got prop storage right there. It's out of the way, secure, never gonna rattle, never gonna move, and it's always gonna be there. Again, these go right back in. Everything's dry, everything's lockable. Just tons of storage in the Nitro Z20. The thing I love about the Z20 is this aft access. Look right here how big this lid is. If I can get right into that bilge area to clean it out, if you got anything discarded down there that might clog a bilge pump up, really, really handy. I've got a built-in battery charger right there that plugs in in the back, keep my batteries charged anytime I'm storing my boat. And then there's the optional e-start. You can turn all battery power off. Like if you're gonna go store your boat for the winter and you got power poles on there or something that might be drawing just a little bit of amp, I can turn that switch and there will be no battery draw at all. I can turn it to another setting and I'm gonna be able to jump start my big motor off my trolling motor battery. Something really handy. A lot of thought again went right here into the transom area of the new Nitro Z20. So there you have it. I couldn't be more impressed with the new Nitro Z20. It has it all. The ride, the speed, the maneuverability, the storage, the great looks. You name it, this boat's got it. Check one of these out at one of the many Tracker Boat Centers or independent Nitro dealers across the country. Happy fishing and thanks for watching.